tips when turning off the hot water for buildings for a boiler for a big angle stop is make sure you turn off the cold first then turn off the hot what it does is that valve is cold and so it's a lot stronger that valve is hot so it's a lot weaker and the pressure by cutting this valve first you're cutting the pressure off then when you turn off the cold the hot ball valve it's not so much pressure on the ball valve itself and then in reverse, now I'm turning the hot water back on. So you want to turn the hot one on first while it's not under pressure from the cold side. So we can open this one first and then we can open the pressure, open the cold feed. It's kind of my best tip for keeping your ball valves alive. And you want to open it slow, but... Anyway, that's open now and then turn the boilers back on. Good idea to flip the switches off. These do have that. Uh, so now I'm turning them back on. So just so I show you my best tip when turning off the hot water to a whole building or using the larger ball valves. Always turn off the cold feed first, then turn off the hot feed. And then in reverse, when you open it, open the hot side first and then open the cold side. That'll give you a lot more longevity out of your, your equipment. It's definitely a good idea to work all these valves about once a month, operate them back and forth just to keep everything working good. Uh, sometimes though that doesn't always happen and uh, one of my uh, other videos that comes to mind is ball valves water shut off best way to turn off stuck frozen hard to turn valve repair video. Sometimes you find a valve that's really hard to turn off you don't just want to force it shut you want to work it a little ways, bring it back, work it a little ways, and bring it back. I show it in that video. Hope all your repair endeavors go really well and you gain some nice ground. Links to tools and parts are in the video description below and I make a small commission on anything you order through there.